This is number two from the 2024 Algebra 1 EOC. The graph of quadratic function h is shown on the grid. Which function is best represented by the graph of h? So the first thing that I'm noticing is that our parabola is opening downward. It's pointing down. And so what that means is that our first term of x squared is going to have a negative in front of it indicating that it's going to be pointing down. So automatically, I can eliminate letter C and letter D. So at this point, we have a 50-50 shot if we don't know anything else about algebra. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to factor my function. So I'm going to go ahead and write both of my sets of parentheses and put my X in both. And we already know that we have a negative out front, so I'm gonna go ahead and write that so that I don't forget that. And from here, we know that whenever we factor, essentially what we're doing is just finding the x-intercepts, also known as the zeros. And for this graph, the x-intercepts are negative five and negative three. So whenever we put that into our factored form, we're gonna use the opposite sign. So instead of negative five and negative three, it's going to be positive five and positive three. From here, I can use FOIL to multiply out the two sets of parentheses. So x times x is x squared. x times three is plus three x. 5 times x is plus 5x, and 5 times 3 is plus 15. From here, I can go ahead and combine my like terms of 3x and 5x. So whenever I do that, I'm going to have x squared plus 8x plus 15, but I still have this negative sign outside of my parentheses and I'm going to distribute that to each term. So my final answer is going to be negative x squared minus 8x minus 15. And we're going to see that that is letter A.